My name's Karina Thompson and welcome to another episode in the series Digitizing Using My Sonar Embroidery Software. In this film I'm going to show you how to load a background picture into the Express Design Wizard. If you're a subscriber or own a copy of My Sonar or are just interested in finding out more about embroidery software, why not subscribe to our free YouTube channel and that way you won't miss out on any of our future episodes. In this video I'm on a PC with the Platinum level of software installed but everything I show you today you'll be able to do on a Mac with the Platinum level of software installed as well. The principles are exactly the same. So in this film I'm going to show you how to load a background picture into the Express Design Wizard. You'll need to be familiar with this process for my following film using the Quick Create tools to digitize. I've broken this process into two short films rather than one long one just because I think it will be easier for you to learn and understand. So in the main software that I've got open here I've clicked on the digitizing wizard and that has opened up the digitizing wizard. You might find it useful to watch my three earlier films where I show you how to use the uh, create express embroidery features the Create Express Trace feature and the Create Express Border feature. But in this film I'm going to be um, checking this fourth box, Load or Create a Background Picture. And then I'm going to click Next. And you'll be familiar from those earlier films about uh, these boxes. And today I'm going to click on Load a Picture. And just like before I'm going to use the free download samples that you can uh, get from the download page of mysonet.com and today I'm going to be working with the zebra here so I'm going to click on the zebra and then I'm going to click OK. Now if I wanted to you can actually create a picture from scratch um, if you check this box that would open the draw and paint module or indeed if I wanted to edit this picture in some way again I could check this bottom box here and again that would open this picture in the draw and paint module but today I'm not going to be doing any of that but look out for a film in the advanced series where I show you how to use the draw and paint features. So I've got my zebra loaded up and then I'm going to click next. I'm not going to crop or edit the picture in any way so I'm just going to click next. In this film I'm going to be uh, working in a hoop that is uh, 26 by 200. If I needed to I could uh, check the enter design size here and then put my design size down there but again I don't need to do that and then I'm going to click finish. Now what's actually going on here you can see that I'm in the digitizing module because it says so up here and I've got my image in here. Now this is the equivalent of taking that image out and almost putting a sheet of tracing paper on it. At the moment we have no stitches created in here and let me show you what I mean. I'm going to go to the view tab and if I pull this slider down all the way can you see look there are no stitches created but you might find it useful um, for instance to maybe just knock back the intensity um, uh, so that when you do start creating stitches you can see them a little bit more easily. So I now have my zebra image loaded in as a background and that means that I'm ready then to use the quick create tools that I'll show you how to use in the next film. If you found this a useful film please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can help you get started with digitizing using the MySonet embroidery software. Happy sewing!